remove those tacky stickers from your Jeep Gladiator. Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. That's right, today we're gonna get rid of those tacky stickers on the Jeep Gladiator back here. Uh, if you've ever watched my other channel, Rob Motive, then you know I like a nice, sleek, for the most part, um, truck or vehicle. And that means getting rid of some of the stickers and things that for some reason the manufacturer feels they need to put on these trucks. Now, what I'm talking about, right here on the side, we've got the Gladiator uh, sticker, I guess you'd call it right there. One on each side, we're gonna get rid of that. I do like the Jeep badge though, really only because it's blacked out. Now, in addition to that, back here on the rear, uh, we have the sport badge. Now this is a little misleading, and this is one thing that I find kind of strange about the Jeep Gladiator. You know, mine is a Sport S, and I always found it confusing as to why Jeep didn't put the S on there. I mean, it is a Sport S. Um, and really what denotes or what differentiates, I guess, the Sport from the Sport S is the package that you have. If you move up, uh, to some other options and things, then you get the Sport S. Even though it doesn't say that anywhere on the Gladiator except on the sticker for that little package. So, I don't know. I don't know why it even has Sport on the back, but I'm going to show you guys how I get rid of those. Hopefully we don't have any paint issues. I've heard of some stories or instances, I guess, in the past of people pulling those stickers off and the paint actually comes off. Obviously, I'm not looking to do that. So, what do you need? What do I use? Well, two things, really. First of all, a hair dryer, just to heat things up a little bit. And I gotta say, it is rather warm here anyway. You guys can see it's, uh, it's pushing uh, right there. It's pushing uh, 90 degrees here, and it's very humid. Um, so we need the hair dryer, and the other thing is your hand. And I will say, a fingernail. That just helps you grab the edge of it just a little bit. You don't want to scratch the paint so that you can go ahead and pull that sticker off. Okay, out here at the back of the Jeep because that's where we're going to start. Got my hair dryer because, you know, I need one of these with my flowing locks and uh, my fingernails. So let's turn you around. Get you on here so you can see the smooth, hopefully carnage-free removal of, uh, of this badge. So I'm just gonna kinda heat it up a little bit. Okay, you wanna make sure that you don't hold it very close to the paint or in one spot very long because you don't wanna scorch the paint, um, which is a reason why I recommend using a hair dryer as opposed to a heat gun. Heat guns get really, really hot. So let's go ahead, heat this thing up a bit. Okay, it's pretty hot. Now let's just gently try to grab an edge. You can see there's already a little nick in the um, decal right here, the sticker. So already a little issue on it, but let's see if we can't just grab an edge. Again, this is cringeworthy, I know. And you see it started to come off pretty darn easy already. So let's just grab the edge. Oh yeah, I'm digging this. And then we'll just pull it right off. Look at that. Success. And now we have a nice little sticker to put on one of the legs on our lift. One more thing I have to do for this. You may notice there's some residue here. Obviously, we want to clean that off. To clean it off, I'm just going to use a little bit of Goo Gone. That just eats through the plastic. Let's make sure that that's not just dirt. And it's not. There's still a little bit of a line there. Uh, it's not bad, actually. It should just be able to uh, come off with just a dab of this stuff um, on a rag. I can probably even mostly wipe it off. So let's uh, give it a shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, really barely nothing. Anyway, it's still good to go ahead and Make sure you get all the adhesive off because if you don't and uh, there's any dirt, then of course dirt will stick to the adhesive and you certainly don't want that. 
There, that really takes care of that. Now, what I would do is go ahead and spray a little bit of water, a little bit of my soapy water concoction here on there just to get the goo gown off. And that's pretty easy to do. You know, if I was real motivated, I guess I'd go ahead and wash the whole Jeep, but because it needs it, it is a little bit dirty, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, what I'm gonna do to protect that area that I've now, in essence, stripped everything off of, I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, Fortify, it's called Shine Armor. I actually did a video on the other channel using this stuff. It's kind of a, oh, waterless, what do they call it? A waterless wash, shine, and protect. So I have some left. We're going to spray a little bit of this on there and then just wipe it off. And this stuff smells fantastic too, by the way. I could break out the wax, but no reason to do that when I've got this stuff. So I'm just going to, like I said, just wipe a little bit on there to kind of protect it because we've stripped everything off, including the sticker. There we go. Oh, nice and smooth. It's too bad you don't have feel vision on here. You can feel how smooth that is now, just like wax. And there you go. There is the uh, finished product with the sticker removed. Show you guys a shot of the whole rear end. There you go. Just looks much cleaner that way. And why did we need that sport badge there anyway? I don't know. So let's go up here. Next, we're gonna tackle the Gladiator badge on the side, really for the same reason. I don't know why it's on there. I mean, I know I have a Jeep Gladiator. Uh, I don't think there's any other Jeep truck out there called anything else, so it doesn't need to be there. Okay, gonna employ the same procedure here. Gonna heat this up a little bit, and then we should be able to just grab a corner and pull this right off. Here we go. Okay, nice and heated up. Again, I'm just gonna grab a corner here, hopefully. Helps to do this when the vehicle is relatively new too, so that the adhesive hasn't set too much. But you can see it's, uh, it's pretty darn easy to pull that off. Nice. All right, gonna go ahead and uh, clean it up the same way as the other and uh, or the one we did in the back and then we got one more side to do and we'll be finished and you'll notice on this one uh, I didn't use the goo gone uh, because it didn't leave any residue so there was really no need so now that I've cleaned it off a bit let's go ahead and uh, spray on some of this shine armor Again, just to protect it, we've stripped everything off. Uh, it's in the form of the sticker anyway. And there you go. Nice, uh, clean look now below the Jeep. We don't have that sticker, that badge, whatever you want to call it, decal there. I just think it looks better. Just, uh, just a matter of preference, I suppose. But I think it looks much better that way. Let's go do the other side. All right, that's the finished product. You can see it's nice and smooth now. Doesn't say Gladiator under there. I think it looks pretty good. It's all a matter of personal preference, of course. If you decide to do this, make sure that you use, preferably, just a hairdryer, just to heat that up a little bit so that you can make that adhesive a little more pliable. And uh, it'll also make it stick to the back of the decal rather than your paint and you'll have less cleanup and that makes it even easier to do. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you like the look this way? Or do you need to have that Gladiator decal on there so that you don't forget what you're driving? Just kidding, of course. All a matter of preference. Also, real quick, if you haven't before and you're interested, 
Check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 nice and cleanly shaven Toyota Tacoma. Click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.